What is going on, Adventure Nation? I dropped Lorena off at the airport this morning. I just finished up with work. Time for me to head home, and then we'll talk about what the heck is going on and why I dropped Lori off at the airport and all that stuff. So let's get this show on the road. All right, Lorena is going to be gone for a month and she is off to Mexico. She's gonna be spending some time with her family, with her mom and sisters and all that kind of stuff, taking care of some doctor's appointments and doing that sort of thing. And she has left me here alone and I'm supposed to take care of myself. Now, she only required me to do three things and that was to keep three things alive. Myself, Ozzy, and her plants. And I really hate to inform her that one of those three is not gonna make it. Not sure which one yet, but I know that when she gets back, one of those three things will not be alive. Hopefully it's the plants and not me or Ozzy, but uh, asking me to keep three things alive simultaneously is just ludicrous. Why would you trust me with that, with that kind of responsibility? Yeah, I'm going to uh, get home and then I will throw the camera up again and then we'll talk a little bit about some of the things we've been doing. Let me get home and then we'll uh, and then we'll talk. It is hot already. Holy smokes, what is this? April 16th and it's already starting to get really, really warm here in Florida. So yeah, the long pants and the, uh, the crazy thick shirts are gonna start becoming a problem again. All right, that's much better. A little bit more relaxed. Back at the house. You know what, I need to make myself something to eat. Speaking of trying to take care of myself, what is wrong with her? Why would she expect me to be able to keep me, Ozzy, and her plants alive? Crazy, but anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna make myself a pot pie, I think. That's, uh, that seems pretty easy. Put it in the microwave. Don't think I'm gonna burn anything down. Ozzy, you just have to stay out of the way. Then we'll talk about what we did, uh, geez, I guess it was almost a month ago now. Now, I'm not much of a antique guy, but this place we went was really cool. So we'll talk about that in just a sec. All right, pot pies in the microwave. So should be food in eight and a half, nine minutes, and I'll be good to go. Speaking of that, I guess I should probably take her, her plants before I forget that. All right, plants taken care of, my food's taken care of. Ozzy, I feed him when I get up and when I go to sleep. So the twice a day thing, I think that's kind of normal for cats, right? About a month ago now, we went down to the RV and we were just doing a, a couple of quick overnights in the RV because we wanted to say hello and goodbye to Vic and Tammy. They were getting ready to hit the road again and go out on another six or seven month trip and we hadn't got a chance to spend some time with them. So we popped down there to spend some time with Vic and Tammy. You know, they've, they've been amazing. They've allowed us to, to, to keep our RV down there. So it's been absolutely incredible. So we wanted to go down there and spend some time with them. So that's what we did. On the way down there and on the way back, every single time we've been, we pass this, what looks like a really cool uh, antique place. So we decided to stop in and check it out. On our way from Orlando down to Arcadia where the RV is parked, we do this little back road to get from I-4 down to Arcadia. And we always drive by this place called The Barn, I think it's called, or well, what's it called? The Stable the Home the de Decor, stable. the Porch Restaurant. The Deck. The Deck, yeah, there's, <laughs> it's got several businesses within one. Yeah. And we've never stopped, so we decided that we would uh, head on inside, so let's check it out. Hey, how's it going? Good. I can't oh, believe how many times we've driven by and this is beautiful in here. Yeah, so glad you stopped. So cool.
go. I get this one for you. I think it's so you. I like it. <laughs> yeah, we might need that. And this one for Los Barillas. What do you think of this place? I don't think this is an antique place. This looks brand new. <laughs> but it's pretty cool though. All right, we couldn't escape the place without making a purchase, so. We've got our first thing for the house in Los Brillos, and we don't even have a house yet, but it'll be a cool addition, and maybe we can get our street named this. That would be cool. We have to think about that. All right, I gotta say, I did not expect that. When we have driven by in the past and saw the antique shop, we thought it was gonna be one of those places where you walk in and it's just uh, kind of trash everywhere. And well, it wasn't Paul that way. Paul said that there's a fine line between antiques and trash, so he doesn't like to go to places yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of going into places that everything's just... We went through many in Texas. In Texas there were quite out. a few, but our friend uh, Johnny, she had the store there in the little town, I can't remember. Well, it was Elotes. Elotes? Yeah. Elote. Elote. Elote, Elote. 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 that's Elote. right. I think it's with H. She had a shop there very similar to this. This is very, very well done, and it's super clean inside, and everything's well organized, and uh, it's just not what I expected. So, and reasonable prices, we thought. The prices were pretty reasonable, and of course, we got a sign. So, yeah. How cool is that place? It's really cool. Well, at least I thought it was cool. I don't know. I think I'm changing my definition of what is cool in my old age, but I, I thought it was kind of cool. Again, antiques that really aren't my thing, but. The place overall was kind of cool. The other place we did kind of an impromptu stop to was a place called Solomon's Castle, another place that we've driven by many, many times and or at least driven by the signs on the road many times and just had to take a little bit of a detour and we just never have done that. So Vic and Tammy and Dave and Lorena and I all went over to Solomon's Castle to check that out. We didn't do the tour, we just walked around, but oh, we had lunch too, but we walked around. This is what it looks like. Today we're out doing a little exploring with our friends Vic and Tammy and Dave. We're going to bring you guys along with us. guys well I just want to let you know that Paul actually misbehave a little bit and this is what happens now we need to get one for the apartment let me out Lori and there I didn't mean to do it <laughs> Thank you. 
So Solomon's castle is the brainchild of a gentleman named Howard Solomon. I'm not sure exactly the date it was built. I don't, didn't see that in any of the information I got, but pretty cool place. That over there is the boat. Where is it? Over there. <laughs> That's the boat house restaurant. And it's the boat in the moat. It's actually a moat that goes around the castle. And uh, we ate in there really, really good food and uh, great staff. We had a, had a good time in there. We're not gonna tour the castle this time. We're gonna save it for another time we come out, but it looks pretty cool. We're gonna have to check that out one, one day in the future. And uh, yeah, that was Hall Howard Solomon's Castle or Solomon's Castle as it's called. And uh, we had a great time in there. I don't know where Lori is, we lost her. All right, we have made it home from our little two-day getaway. All of our stuff is out of the car. Lori's already getting into the snacks and I'm gonna be right behind her on that one. But this is where we're gonna end this video. So it'd be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means I have to? Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It'd be equally as cool if you liked the video. And we'll see you again in the next episode. Right, Ozzy? Where did Ozzy go? There he goes. Right Ozzy? Right? Right? Say hi. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.